This morning we are going to make a willow bird feeder. So we are using these willow withies, uh, that's a stick of willow. These willow withies have been stripped of their bark and boiled, but you can use green willow as well. That's fresh willow. In some places you're permitted to take the willow from your local area and use it as long as you have permission because willow is a renewable wood. Otherwise you can get it at the scrap store in Bristol um, and various other places if you need some advice please ask me that's fine. So we've got five willow withies of similar lengths. Be very careful with willow it's easy to whip people's eyes with it it's incredibly uh, snappy like that. So you do need to be careful. Our five willow withies we have got positioned like this in a square with one slightly inside. You don't need a special block but this block ha has five holes drilled into it. You can stick it into the ground, into mud, into grass to do it, um, a pot with earth in, something else if it's um, easier. We start by taking the inside with the where we have two and we fold it flat towards the next withy and we carefully bend it here where it's coming out of the hole we don't want it to pop out we hold it down and we bend the next one over the top of the first one see how it wants to pop out now this willow has been soaked in a bath for 12 hours. Ideally, you'd soak it for even longer than that because it's much, much more malleable when it's been soaked. Can you see that I am bending my willow withy to the inside of the next withy each time? Because we are going to spiral inwards. As we do the last and fifth withy, you notice we have two lying alongside each other in parallel. So, to carry on going inwards, we pick up the outside of the two, lift it straight up, and then bend it inside to go to the next one. When we have two again, we pick up the outside withy, and we bend it to the next one and again we have two and what we're doing is we're spiraling inwards if your willow is quite long you can make your spiral slow but if your willow is quite short you have to go in more quickly so that you don't run out before you reach the top of your spiral You can probably see that spiral shape beginning to take form now. Now we work with the willow really carefully because it's really malleable, but you have to look after it. Always hold it by the base, never by the top. and Bend it upwards first before you go across. And in that way, you will help it to bend. Sometimes it snaps a bit like it did there. That's probably because it hasn't been soaked quite long enough. It doesn't matter because it tends not to break off. So you can see that spiral pattern is really beginning to take shape now. Oh. It begins to make a lovely shape for our natural bird feeder. doing this with very young children, preschoolers, they're going to need a lot of help. This is quite a, a difficult fiddly activity. I do have a couple of other little bird feeder activities for preschoolers that I will do later on for you, which they can do by themselves. This one is really best for age uh, year two children and upwards because it's fiddly. It's 
very good for the fine motor skills. But they often need help. Doing it um, with a partner is ideal because you can help each other hold the, the wiggies in place. But can you see I'm getting right to the top now? I've got that lovely spiral shape. And this is when it can get a little bit fiddly because we have to start finishing it off. Because my willow withies weren't exactly the same shape, or length, sorry, they're finishing at different rates. So some of them are really running out now, and some of them are still quite big. So what I'm going to try and do is finish off the point of my bird feeder by seeing if I can... The end of that's a bit ragged. So I'm going to cut it and see if I can just poke it through a hole to try and finish. It's a bit like knotting. It's a bit of a trial and error to find out if you can get it to go through anywhere. And then just pull it, and because it's willow, it tends to stay in the position that you leave it. It's a fantastic wood for working with. And as I said before, because it's renewable, it grows back. It's a coppiced wood. It's a bit like hazel. It grows back really easily. So when you cut it, you get a new bit growing. That's not working very well. I wonder if we can do the big bit. Poke it around and see if we can find a little hole for it to come out through. So you can see, I'm going to try and pull that right through and see if I can get it to sort of finish off the top of my... That one's worked quite well. And that's basically sort of knotted at the bottom now. Well, it will be the bottom. It's not the bottom at the moment. So I'm going to snip those off to tidy it up. And you can see the lovely shape that you get. And I like this bird feeder because it's very natural, all made from wood. Although, of course, you can use other things like recycle, um, recyclable yoghurt pots and bits of bottles to, to use up some rubbish. Then you pull it out of the ground or wherever you've stuck those withies in. The last bit there to stop it from popping out, you just stick it through. And that's... How it looks from the underneath and we're going to turn it over and we've got a fat ball any fat ball you can make your own with suet or bird feed um, you can obviously buy them in the garden centers um, and to hang that in our garden you might want to use another willow withy to make a lovely um, handle maybe you could plait a handle or even more simply use some garden twine and you can tie that on whichever way works best for you and where you want to hang it try to hang it somewhere that the birds are going to feel secure so amongst bushes branches so that they don't feel exposed as they feed but also be aware that squirrels might come along and try and steal it which is quite tempting for them let's see if that hangs there we are there's our willow bird feeder and that is for our big garden bird watch this weekend <laughs>